A very good evening and welcome to the 7 o'clock news, live from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone conference with Egyptian President Abdel Fattah El Sisi to condemn the two terrorist attacks that targeted St. George Church in Tanta and St. Mark's Cathedral in Alexandria, which resulted in a number of deaths and injuries. His Majesty affirmed Bahrain's support for all measures taken by the Arab Republic of Egypt to preserve its security and stability and the safety of its citizens. For his part, El Sisi expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his well wishes and for Bahrain's support of Egypt, in line with the deep brotherly relations between the two countries and peoples. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, today chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gudebiya Palace. On behalf of the Council, Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa congratulated His Royal Highness on receiving the Arab League's Development Work Shield, which reflects His Royal Highness's contributions to sustainable development across various sectors. His Royal Highness said the honour was thanks to the efforts of the people of Bahrain, who continuously strive for further prosperity in the Kingdom under the wise leadership of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness then welcomed the visit of Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas and the upcoming visits of Sudanese President Omar Hassan al-Bashir and, Pres and Philippines President Rodrigo Duterte. He stressed the importance of such visits, which reflect strong bilateral relations and the global strategic significance of Bahrain. The cabinet then condemned the two terrorist attacks that targeted two churches in Egypt, expressing deep condolences to the families of the victims and wishing those injured a speedy recovery. The cabinet reaffirmed its firm stances towards Egypt and added that the unity of the people of Egypt will enable them to overcome any attempts to undermine the stability of the country. His Royal Highness Prime Minister then directed the concerned committees to periodically evaluate services and information provided to investors and regularly update data so that investors have all the information they need to invest in the kingdom. The Cabinet reviewed draft laws to develop the mechanism of criminal justice and the speed of adjudication in civil and commercial disputes. It approved a draft law amending a number of provisions of civil and commercial procedures law and referred it to the Council of Representatives according to constitutional and legal procedures. The Council also approved a draft law on sanctions and measures to allow judges to order alternative sanctions instead of the original penalty of imprisonment and referred it to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs. A draft law was reviewed on reform justice for children and their protection from abuse, which supersedes existing juvenile law. The law dictates the establishment of courts for reform justice for children, specialised in adjudicating crimes of criminal courts for children aged between 15 and 18 years old. The Cabinet approved adding a new activity to land transport activities, allowing companies and individuals with licensed taxi services to work with companies that use smartphone applications in public transport activities, and revered a draft proposal on amending the list of licenses for public transport activities of 11-2015 to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs. 
The Cabinet authorized the signing of four memorandums of understanding and three executive programs during the next meeting of the Supreme Joint Committee between Bahrain and Kuwait. It also approved signing amended protocol for the Convention on the Avoidance of Double Taxation and Preventing Tax Evasion for Taxes on Income and Capital between the governments of Bahrain and the Philippines. The Cabinet additionally approved a protocol between the Kingdom and the Philippines on air services, signed on August 29, 1992, and amended the protocol signed between the two countries on December 15, 2003. It referred to the Council of Representatives two draft laws, accompanied by a memo on the government's opinion of them. The first was formulated in light of the proposal submitted by the Shura Council to amend some provisions of child law, and the second was formulated following a proposal by the Council of Representatives to add a new article to Decree 54 of 2002 regarding the internal list of the Council. Foreign Affairs Minister Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed Al Khalifa met with the Palestinian Foreign Affairs Minister Riyad Al Maliki, where they discussed the agenda of the Palestinian Ambassadors to Arab and Islamic States Conference hosted in Bahrain. The Foreign Minister welcomed Al Maliki, praising his efforts in all international forums to restore the rights of the Palestinian people and establish an independent state with Jerusalem as its capital. He noted the important gains that have been recently made in regional and international forums. He also affirmed Bahrain's support of the Palestinian people and all efforts to achieve peace and a legitimate two-state solution. For his part, al-Maliki expressed pride in visiting Bahrain and meeting with the foreign minister and extended the Palestinian people's sincere appreciation of the kingdom's support, wishing Bahrain further progress. The president of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Hamey bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, participated today in the 2017 Cultural Summit in the United Arab Emirates capital, Abu Dhabi. A large number of Arab and international personalities, including decision makers, writers, artists, and academics, participated in the summit. Sheikh Hamey expressed her keenness to enhance cultural mobility in the Arab world, hailing the efforts of the UAE to promote the richness of Arab culture. She highlighted that the UAE's efforts are complementary to those of Bahrain in creating cultural mobility, noting that the authority is already preparing for the launch of its 2018 program. A very good evening. You're watching the Business News on Bahrain International with me, Mohammed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,362.71 points, marking a decrease of 12.03 points below the previous closing. The decrease was in the commercial banks, investment and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 62.79% of total shares. 94 transactions included 3,380,376 shares worth 800,327 Bahraini dinars. The Undersecretary for Industrial Affairs of the Industry, Commerce and Tourism Ministry, Osama al Arayal, met a delegation of businessmen and investors from Russia. The meeting discussed various topics of shared interest, citing the efforts of both countries in boosting their bilateral ties, enhancing trade and expertise exchange. He affirmed the ministry's keenness on showcasing the potentials of Bahrain as an attractive global hub for investments, thanks to the incentives and facilitations provided by the government for international investors.